Hi Elvis fans, a historical moment was about to take place. Elvis was going to meet the biggest band in the world, the Beatles. Talk about the Beatles coming to um, the States in 64. Brian Epstein, knowing how much the Beatles um, idolized Elvis, admired him, um, got a hold of Colonel Parker to see if there was any kind of arrangement that could be made. Could you imagine Elvis meeting the Beatles? I'm also a Beatles fan, I always have been since the early 70s, but I know there were differences between Elvis and the Beatles. And I know things were said by Elvis that I think Elvis may have regretted. And Jerry Schilling and I greeted him at the door and we led them into, you know, kind of showed him around a little bit briefly and then Elvis was waiting for them in the den. They were so cute. They were so cute. They were so excited but so nervous. You could hear a pin drop when they walked in. You, you know, they looked around the room, they came in, you know, they're kind of like looking and, you know, all they cared about was, you know, seeing Elvis. They were excited but holding it back. And I completely get that the Beatles were extremely nervous. He was their idol. He was their inspiration. And when they were in Liverpool, when they were first starting out, and first hearing Elvis Presley in the, the mid-1950s, it would have changed their lives forever. All they cared about was, you know, seeing Elvis. They were excited, but holding it back. They wanted to be respectful, but I was amazed at how shy they were. Uh, we walked into the room. I was just sitting on the couch and got up and said hello. They were speechless. They were totally speechless. They were truly like kids, you know, meeting their idol, especially John Lennon. John was shy, timid, looking at him. I mean, I, I really believe that he just couldn't believe that he was actually there with Elvis Presley. And I'm not surprised, but as usual, Elvis, who is such a gentleman, put them at ease and then got the instrument out and started jamming with them and the rest is history. And I know that later in life, the Beatles found out that Elvis had problems with the Beatles um, and they look back on that with some bad feeling. Everything was quite secretive. You know, not a big deal was made about it because no one wanted it to get out in the press, especially Colonel Parker, and he would say how, you know, no one could say anything. He waited last minute to tell us all the plans and what was happening. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this short video. Thanks everyone from the UK.